Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and I am here with a brand new extra long run for y'all. Um, so much in the same vein as the previous long run, uh, this is definitely a game that has not been out for very long. Um, I did used to have a bit of a stance of not playing brand new games. Just kind of, it was a different time at that time, and I had a different mentality. At this point, I do not have that mentality. I will still give indie releases one month before I give them a full playthrough on stream if I'm going to do that. But um, as far as this, I uh, have no such qualms. So we're going to just get started. And this one is a game for the Switch. So what are we playing? Well, it's a little game that is the third or fourth of the series that it belongs to, depending on who you ask. But it will definitely identify itself as the third one. Oh. Yeah, we're playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So, yeah, this is a game by Monolith Soft. Um, it is the fourth Xenoblade Chronicles game, but it is the third in the numbered series. Um, I don't think you really need to have known anything about the uh, Xenoblade series up to this point to really know what's going on with this game. I have seen literally nothing of this except for what's on the cover and what's on the screen right now. Uh, so I, th this is totally blind. Um, but I can make two assumptions. One, there's going to be a species that we're very familiar with that's going to show up again in this game. And two, there's probably going to be a sword that ends up being centric to the plot. Let's see if those uh, assumptions are correct. Game has been updated. Okay, cool. Um, it's cool that there's a zero day, you know, update to this. And yeah, they're already selling an expansion thing and I'm not really, uh, not really cool with that, honestly. People should just sell the, the entire game that they want to sell from the start. Um, I did look into what is included in this first volume and they're pretty, like, in, also in the three volumes that will follow. Uh, the only one that really seems super interesting is the last one, which is going to add some amount of gameplay that, um, will I end up streaming it? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, I have not opened this game at all, so I probably should have at least, um, checked the options a little bit here. Usually I would play with Japanese voice, but for the sake of, um, for the sake of the stream, I'll leave it on English. All of the notifications, sure. I've seen subtitles, absolutely. Um, yeah, let's autoplay voice text. Oh, you can make it so that the mini-map spins around. I 
Not super big on that, honestly. Brightness is fine. Auto activate quests. Set whether newly received quests are automatically activated. Quests always activate when none are set. Um, if that means what I think it means, I'm going to leave it off. Targeting controls, select enemies using L and R. The R button to target the closest enemy. The L button cycles through targets in reverse order. I think I'm going to do that. Auto targeting. Not gonna turn on auto battle. All right. So we do have a difficulty selector. Uh, I presume that uh, this is configurable during the game as well. Most games seem to do that nowadays. So for those who want easier time, prefer focusing on progressing the story. Those who want moderately difficult, generous, gen generously balanced combat. And for those who enjoy challenging themselves with fairly difficult combat. Mm, that's not me. And yeah, just, just as I was saying, this can be configured. Let's get this thing going! You mean it? <sighs> Slow down, guys! Is it true, though? <sighs> There's gonna be fireworks! Yeah. Saw them setting up yesterday. There were loads of them. It'll be worth it, promise.
colossal martial nations locked in war. Kevez and Agnes. What is it they need to stay alive? Water? Food? Certainly. But what we need most is life itself. Taking each other's lives. With the taken flames becoming your own in turn. While the other, the one whose essence is stolen, leaves only a husk. in order to live and living to fight that's the way of our world Ionios cruel irony that it should mean eternity because slowly but surely our world is now dying even though we have yet to realize that fact Even so. Shut it! Stop flapping your gums and move! Yeah! We've got more incoming! And as is tradition, they throw us right into the game. Okay, let's see. Let me turn this down a little bit. Hey, you automatically attack an enemy if you approach them. This is called an auto attack. Stand still near an enemy to continue auto attacking. Metacon confirming you're in range for auto attacks will be shown in the bottom right corner of the screen. Gotcha. It's like we're not getting into arts right away. But right now, not a whole lot. They're just kind of getting us uh, used to the controls. An exclamation mark will mark your next destination. The number below it indicates how far away you are from the destination. Interview tips that have popped up in the game at any time from the main menu system. Tips. That was over way too soon. Hear that, Noah? Let's, Let's keep on something a bit meatier. And keep this moving forward. Just. Begin a battle by drawing your weapon. First target an enemy, then, play, then press A to draw your weapon. 
to withdraw from battle, hold A for a while to sheathe your weapon. Approach an enemy to automatically target them. If there are multiple enemies, press L or R to target a different enemy. I wonder if this game is going to have QTEs. They tend to. Oh, there we go. Arcs are stronger than auto attacks. They can be activated by pressing X, Y, or B. After using an arc, you cannot use it again until its gauge fills back up. The arc's gauges fill up automatically over time. This is called recharging. You know what say? Alright, so now we got arcs. Uh, what do we got? Ground beat. Alright, side break. And what the side break boom. Boom. Guarding the artillery. They're not going anywhere. Anyone's moving right now, it's us. Let's go! If the front line breaks, we're all dead. But the position! We can handle this ourselves. Go on, move it! And immediately into her first boss, I guess. Oops. Talent arts are stronger than normal arts. A talent art can be activated by pressing A once its circular gauge is full. A talent art's gauge is recharged by performing actions expected of a character's roll, also, full, also called roll actions. That makes sense. If you can meet the requirements for arts that give bonus specs for positioning, your talent art icon will flash red, and your talent art gauge will charge up a lot. 
Actions that deal damage effectively, such as dealing critical hits or participating in combos, also count as roll actions, charging your talent or gauge bit by bit. Performing an attack the moment the previous one hits allows you to cancel one attack into the next, making them flow quickly into each other. You can cancel auto attacks into arts, then arts into talent arts. Doing this speeds up the execution, letting you deal damage more quickly. Or more damage quickly. Side. Excellent. We got days on him. It's the same. It's the same deal with this game, where you go like break topple days. Area. I will hydrate as soon as I can. Talon art. Boom! Right now, combat's slightly repetitive, but um, we're just starting the game, so oh jeez. Hydrating now. Uh, so far in the series, Ria, it's uh, Final Fantasy type of Well, thanks for dropping by, Rhea. I'd be happy if you want to stick around, but if, if you don't, that's fine. That's fine, too.
every one of us is born looking like this. As soldiers. As weapons for slaying Agnians. Yes. All of us live only to fight. That's kind of messed up. Cut that out! Stupid Noah! Nice one, Lance. Too early for that. Look, it's you they're after here. Just take out their attackers and we're golden. They're gonna get it handed to them. Bah! Flickering hoop. You're as slippery as Noah sometimes. Uni. Chick never shuts up. Kite. Range darts. Easy. Okay, Uni. Cheers for that. You're a lifesaver, Yorin. Yorin is our other. Sparking dead white. Kite is a ranged hey. person. Change of plan. Kite, you keep firing and don't stop. Oh, what? Whatever you want. Huh? Go ballistic. Just draw their attention. The suppressing fire. Yeah. Is that lame duck? Yorin? But he's bottom of the class. Why bother? Thing is, the brat's still a decent healer. Get it? Ah, right. So we're playing by the book here. Pisses me off. But the fight will be good as one. Yeah! yeah. Alright, I learned Can we flank them? everyone's name, I suppose. And battle yeah. names. They're not in their usual formation. Wait, what? <gasps> We're snuffed! Kai's just a decoy, so they're really after... Ugh. Quick thinking, Lance.
should have done that much sooner! But still, didn't have to go get himself killed for it. Come on, he was trying to protect you. He lured in Garvel's gang, gave us a chance to turn it around. Ugh. You know who wasn't up to it? We weren't. Yeah, but... Just stop it! No more arguing. It's my fault. I should have just done a better job. Then we'd have won. Hey. <laughs> so much for getting to the final, huh? Sorry. I let us down on your big day. I'm so... sorry. What big day? The birthday. What? Whose? Yours, dummy. It's your second term, right? Remember? Ah. Oh. A win would have been a nice surprise. Lance was pretty fired up too, weren't ya? Cut it out. Hey. What? You'll apologize, right? Might do, might not. We each have a lifespan of ten years. We call them terms. Life begins with our first term and ends at the close of our tenth. And over the course of those ten years, we fight continually. Though in reality, there aren't that many who can hold their flame for the whole ten years. Most lose their lives on the battlefield before they reach year ten. But those who do survive to the end are honored in a special service. We call it the homecoming. Morning, Yorn. Hey, Noah. Morning. Morning, uh, Lance. Hmm. <sighs> Get a move on. Quick, we're gonna miss the homecoming. First one they've ever had here, right? Yeah, isn't it awesome? And yeah, sure enough, there are no pawns in this game. <laughs> also, it has the thing where there's like different levels of cutscenes. There's some with mocap and some without. Even the Queen's come out! So that's Her Majesty, huh? Wow! I've never seen her before! Oh.
so cool. I heard the stories, but this is just wild. That's gonna be me someday. Just you try and stop me. You guys too. You're totally making it with me. Of course. Uh, hmm. And you, Noah, right? Huh? Sure. Yeah, you bet. Our lives came from the Queen, and we all lived for a chance to take part in the homecoming. The chance to return to the Queen's embrace. Carrying out ten years of service, fighting. That was our whole world. Nobody ever thought to question it. Until that day. Do you have to? Huh? You shouldn't be sending those guys off like that. What? Why not? Why are you like this, Noah? It's Agnes, our enemy. Well, yeah. They don't have an officer, though, to send them. Yeah, they all bit the dust thanks to us. So what? Look, there's no rule not to. Then what, you're just gonna keep going? I don't get you, Noah. I know we're putting our lives on the line, but still... Yeah, yeah, we get it already. Friend or foe, someone has to lay them to rest. For that is my role as an officer. Right. Uh, is my voice that deep? Shot at you. I wasn't trying to be anyone specific. Right, I've had about enough of all this depressing crap. Let's head back and hit the showers. I'm all gunked up with blood and sweat. Ah, uh, bye, transport. Guess we missed it again. Oh, bollocks! Oh, Noah always does this. How many times is it we've had to walk home now? I think we're about to get into some gameplay again here. Never like playing. There are places across the world that will give you experience what's once found. Key locations are called landmarks, and the especially difficult to find ones are called secret areas. That stands to reason pretty much the same as the other Xenolite games. When the whole party has been incapacitated incapacitated in battle, you will return to the last landmark you passed by. Whoa, check this place out. 
The mini map is displayed at the top right of the screen. It displays the character's immediate surroundings and quests its destinations. Press uh, R3 to display a bigger map. Press ZL and Y whenever you need navigational assistance. Doing so will display the shortest route to your destination. Be advised, however, the shortest route may sometimes take you past tough enemies, so it's not necessarily the best or easiest one. Try various routes for best effect. All right, let's head back to Colony Nine. Colony Nine. That's a name that's come up before. Yes, yeah, so we got jumping. Pressing Y brings up um, this thing here. Pressing X is our menu, and I'm going to go ahead and say. It's good to keep a record. There we go. These shiny things are probably pickups. Are we the last ones here? Sorry I made you wait. Ah, oh, it's fine. We're used to it. Level 43. Okay, let's not go that direction. We're probably going to need all of these things. For uh, who's this? Very much. Okay. Draw a bus route. Yeah, sure enough, shows the path over there. Is that? Gotta keep up. It's a very red menu. Ice and limber. Here we go, guys. Right on. Make sparks fly, Noah. Alpha cap. This guy is kind of shiny. I don't know if that means anything. How easy was that? Right, let's push on. Okay, so. There is no longer a separate dialogue for. I guess having the upper hand doesn't guarantee your safety. Colony Sigma were fighting frantically for their lives, just like us. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, there's no longer a dialogue for stuff that is dropped by enemies, it just drops straight on the floor. It is probably a terrible idea for me to be up here with these level 43 enemies. Let me mute for that. Do we fight? Area of Effect Healing. Unity's Healing Ring costs, uh, casts a green healing aura that remains on the ground. Characters standing within the aura will gradually recover HP. Really safe, I'm seeing uh, 
gauge next to the enemy HP. I'm not sure what that gauge means. I'm sure the, ga the game will explain this to me very soon. Friends, wait! What's the matter, Riku? Oh no, just because friends are worn out from battle is no excuse not to pay attention to surroundings. Direct eyes right there. Oh hey, an abandoned container. If it's if it's been cast off like trash, is it even worth trying to salvage it? Victory can make slop uh, soldiers sloppy. Neglectful of ba uh, battlefield aftercare tasks. Thanks to Napon Rearguard, Noah and friends survive battles, go home with Bum Bum in single piece. Don't friends think friends should heed advice of experienced colleague? I guess maybe we should. Oh, so you're a badass now, eh, Riku? Maybe next time you want to join us on the front line, huh? That sound fun? Hey, Lance, go easy. Riku's just trying to help us out here. You may chance upon containers while exploring. Inside, you can find uh, you can sometimes find items that are otherwise hard to come by, so it's worth going out of your way to open them. Items have different rarities. From high to low, they are legendary purple, rare yellow, and common white. The rarer the item, the harder it is to come by. I hope we can make use of this. You can equip accessories via character's accessories in the main menu. Accessories help to strengthen your characters in various ways. Oh, I, you're making me do this a long way. Gotcha. Yes, I'm trying to get in there. Shut up. Accessories. Also, I see that they have extremely <laughs> Simplified equipment. There's literally just accessories, it looks like. Of course, this is where they would end up putting like another container nearby to make sure that you're actually paying attention. of stuff that en route back to Colony 9 of Dale. Yeah, with all that life left on the clock. Just wait a moment, would you? Let's take care of the off -sea. Of course, we have time. Noah Noah is an offseer, a soldier who helps the fallen pass on. Setting off any husks you find on the field will build your affinity with the colonies that they belong to. I'd better send them off. Nifty. Affinity, of course, being another term that comes up in like every Xenoblade game in some way.
Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. They completely with that attack. Dang it, I was trying to get to his side. And yes, I'm going to be doing some exploring around for this run. This is Xenoblade anyway, that like... Uh, a large part of the game is getting everything you can out of it. So is there any specific disadvantage to fighting the other? Let's give him the usual, Noah. Head, drop down. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. Right. Top one. Hey. Well, it looks like uh, looks like fighting in the water is pretty much the same. So, uh, when's the battle happening? And entirely unimpeded. Substitute for a proper bar. Huh. You think you're all that, do you? Oh, geez. Sorry, no. I'll grab their attention so you can search around their back. Positioning in battle. Certain guards' effects will change based on your position relative to an enemy. Optimizing your position will reap positive effects, like increased damage. Uh, with back attacks. When your allies have an enemy's attention, it's time to get yourself into a good combat position. Use arcs from the side or back when an enemy isn't targeted. The arrow icon, uh, the arrow icon displayed above the arts shows you the position of the player, uh, of the player character in relation to the target enemy. Left or right, one to the side, up in front, and down behind. Of course, it wants me to do an edge thrust from behind, where I've already uh, spent my edge thrust right at the, right at the beginning. And there we go, just need to win the fight. Which, we're still early in the game, this should basically be a good one. Ooh. Huh. They're from Colony Nine. Noah, will you do the honors? Farewell.
I kind of find that whole concept of like giving these people a proper send off. Honestly, kind of neat. Blending certain arts one after another in a set of uh, in a set order is called a combo. Only arts with special status effects can start a combo. For example, an art that inflicts break, followed by an art that inflicts topple, while topple an enemy. A longer combo combo is break, topple, daze, burst. Training Drills. You can review previous tutorials by going to System Training Drills in the main menu. These drills ha will allow you to go over anything you may have missed initially. Awesome. Also, I didn't realize that that, uh, that nearest path thing would just stay up perpetually, and I kind of appreciate that. I mean, you can turn it off too, so it's not like it's there forever. this game has fall damage or not. I'm going to go under the assumption that it probably does. Hey Tyrion. To reach the next checkpoint, walk 200 meters and turn left. Ooh, that guy is shiny. Huh? Is that? Hey, buddy. Right, guys, let's give it some. Ah! Don't mess with uni. Turned around. Something a bit meatier. Another shiny. Huh? There's a lot of these. We've been spotted. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. Nothing going. That's the weak point. Enemies broken away from me. Hey, come here. I got something for you. Enemies broken away from me. Come here. I got something for you. I wish we could have avoided that. You guys are just too strong. A container. Container. Huh? Is that? Do we fight? Oh. Well, not like we have a choice, but there's a shiny here, so that's not a, not a bad thing. I do appreciate the game actually telling you, like, oh, there's something of interest here that you might want to head toward. Oh, dear. Ooh, went down. Yeah, keep on the 
Also, I lost track of who I was attacking there. Throwing scarf. Oops. Extends break duration by sixteen percent. All right. Could definitely use a couple of more minutes on the, on the break. <laughs> well, here's where we find out if there's... Yep, fall damage. things because I can. We've discovered where Colony, Colony 9 is. I don't remember how vertical two was. You itching to get wrecked? Come here, I got something for you. You're a lifesaver. Ah, dang it, I missed my sword strike. Listen, they're engaging us, not the other way around. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. Huh. A rare doodah. Huh. Can I get over huh. there? I'm gonna guess no. Something shiny up there. Huh. 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 Can I get up there? Huh. Huh. Want that container, dang it. Huh. This looks more climbable. Wonder what's inside. Nap on coins, alright. I'm sure those will be useful at some point. Anyway, let's uh not waste any more time. Let's just go into colony nine. Uh, I am of the general mindset of I just want to explore everything, but uh, at the same time I do have to remember I am streaming this. Ah, made it back at last. What a hike. Such long walking is tough on legs of Riku. Riku totally pooped. That's a massive battle. We'll be 
We don't seem to have taken too many in injuries, fortunately. Yeah, well, I guess that's the upside of going against a low rank, no more colony like that. On the flip side, we didn't manage to fill up the flame clock all that much. It's all for the best. At least we've come back in one piece. I agree. And anyway, we should we should be all right on that front for the time being. Noah, talking out here just waste of time. How about friends move chatter into bath? Good thinking. Let's do that. I mean that is true, Tyrion. But uh, I'm c considering that I have to relegate myself to spending four hours a week on this game is gonna kinda suck. Although I, I do, I will say this, just like with CrossCode, I do reserve the right, if I feel like I need to, to uh, do some extra uh, work on this game, which I will do my best to stream and or record um, and yeah, that. Anyway, I I may spend more than four hours per week, but there's no guarantee of this. The flame clock shows the amount of life's flames harvested from defeated enemies. The amount of flame will decrease as time passes. Your character's stats will increase as the flame clock. Uh, Flame clock gauge fills up, so try to keep the gauge filled up as much as possible to maintain the stat increases. That makes me think of the countdown from uh, Chronicles Cross, except that, that was more of a story point and it didn't have any any like direct effect on direct effect on the game. Benefits of talking: you see a star by a character's name, it means they have something new to say. Talking to a person for the first time will also increase your affinity with their call. As far as talking, uh, I don't guarantee that I'm going to um, actually speak out all of the things that they say. I will do my best to keep this on screen for long enough to read. But yeah, the flame clock seems to be like, oh, there's that word blade. So we've had, uh, we have a Napon, although we don't know what he sounds like. And also he doesn't show up on the field at all. We have had Blade. Um, we are eventually going to run into someone with a Hulk Hogan mustache. Seems to be our mechanic Harala here. I'm I'm going to try to say Nopon. I, I'm very used to saying Nopon, but I'm going to try to say Nopon because it was only Nopon uh, for Cross. And they actually made a point of the difference. So even though Cross was my first game. I would like to see a uh, remake of Cross at some point. But like I said, that was my entry into the series, and uh, I really enjoyed 
kind of how that one played. Go take a bath. Convenient fog of censorship. You know how you became an officer after what happened? Hmm? Um... I guess, yeah. Does it still hurt? No. I can't say I'm totally over it. But I'm getting there. I've sent so many of our comrades. A lot's happened. Both for me and those sent on. Mm. Anyway, worry about him. I got it. Poor guy. Pushes himself too hard. What can we do? He's been like this for ages. He never got to apologize, so... You know. Hmm? You guys talking about the battle? Don't worry about the bonus points, because I'll have nabbed them all. Uh, the snuff you on about? I'll have you know I clocked up a fair bit more. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm the one who took the heavy off its hinges. They give you loads of points. Ooh, big deal. If that heel had come a few seconds later, you'd be sleeping in the dirt. Uh, yeah, no, ah, uh, that was part of the plan. You couldn't tell. I just felt like giving you the credit, but don't worry. You can thank me later. Huh? You're a right Muppet, Lance. A Muppet? What? All right, then. Off to bed with me. Yeah. All that walking's really done a number on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone and I shall I have him to Lance, you're being very diligent. Do you do never uh, do you do uh there we go. I'll just skip the rest of dialogue by holding down X. You about to start wash duty? No, we're going to bed. Okay, time to hit the sock maybe? Sure, let's do it. Rest to Max! Resting very serious business! Indeed. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have gone exploring. And instead followed the GPS. Oh dear. An emergency assembly. It's the crack of door, guys. Uh, why? No idea. We better take a look.
To get to the assembly point, we got to run through the Pharaonis interior. I think Noah knows that, Lance. Also, to be fair, we weren't late because we went exploring. We were late because Noah was doing his off-seer duty. Remind me, what are we lining up for here? Royal decree from the castle. They say an enemy armored unit's approaching this area. Come on, man. I just got to sleep and everything. Friends fault for staying up late. Oh, geez, I got your voice totally wrong. Sleep? I asked you to do the maintenance on my power frame, but you totally messed up my settings. Uh huh. Ah. Uh, that probably different frame. Riku is popular, Gaipun, crushed by weight of fans asking to do favors. Sometimes mix up orders. Meh. If configs bamboozle, why not fix myself? That's why I didn't get any sleep, Furball. I'm here to announce today's mission. You have one target. It's currently on course for the suppression area here. Judging from the mass, it's expected to be large in size. And based on its speed, we estimate it will reach the Alfetto Valley at 0100 hours. Notably, the target's emitting a considerable amount of ether energy. As for your mission, deploy at the canyon by the designated time. Investigate and destroy the source of ether. Commander, one question. Go. About this target, can we assume it's from Agnes? We don't know. We haven't been able to confirm, but it seems that they're also gunning for it. This would suggest it should be seen as part of a different enemy force. Combat with Agnian troops in the area is also expected. Details will be sent to your Iris after deployment. Clear? You are to remain vigilant throughout the operation. Dismissed. Apologies for the parking lot noises. You better start preparing to move out too. Now, mate, you want to go to the com to the commissary, do some equipment shopping. Gotta get him togged out with a with something a bit more solid, yeah? Make him a bit less squishy. You should be flush with cash since you just said we just got the, re the reward for the Kali Sigma job, right? I'll show you some top notch some top notch accessories. And do worse uh, than take a bit of advice from a battle worn hot case by like Mamba, huh? Cheers, Mamba. Then we go to commissary. Camille's talking point. Uh, Camille's taking point on distribution around this time, I reckon. Good to know. Alright, let's go and take care of the prep then. Uh, press Y to check the current objective of your current act quest. Items are purchased with G. Gold in shops. Uh, items can also be sold for G in shops. Makes sense. An item that has a scales icon on it is a sell only item. Their only use is to be sold, so gather as many of them as you can to save lots of G for what you want to buy. Thanks, game. Otherwise, I would have thought that the G stood for dollars. Hey guys, keep the hustle alive, I see. Yeah, you could say that. Listen, we get. Uh, can we get a bronze temple god? I want to get no Noah kitted out. Sure thing. Here you go. Buy. Okay, so buy and select the item you want. 
Now you have the bronze temple guard, you can exit the shop. And it could be a somehow. Bronze temple guard, eh? Nice, nice. Should make our job a bit easier at least. Oh yeah, how do you have to put it on already? Yeah, I want it. Okay, we've already done this game. I'm no equip your new guns. Okay. You gotta make me do it again. Okay, cool. Despite the fact that I've already equipped something. Oh, there's the rest of the equipment. Oh no, it's still just the, the accessory stuff. Right, it's because... Mm, yeah. yeah, okay. I do feel a bit tough already. Huh? That's the moth for a big piece of gear. Commissary's stuck with useful bits and bobs like that. He wants to stop, uh, he wants to stop by every now and then. Anything to get an extra edge in the fight against Agnes, right? If we show consistent results, the colony might get, might be promoted too. I'll improve the quality of the equipment on offer here as well. We'll do our best to make it happen. Thanks, Mom. Alright, so we are geared up then. Let's get over to the plaza, double time. Yeah. Huh? Really? That's a pickle. <laughs> Oi! Noah, what's the hold up? Are you going or not? Yeah, sorry, it's just... You look troubled somehow? Oh, Spock's sake. You gotta put on your goody two-shoes cap now. <sighs> Fine. Let's see what- let's see what's up now. Quest will update when you've made progress in it. Press left and right to switch quest category. While confirming your current objective with Y, you can press plus to also check a map of the immediate vicinity of the quest objective. Ah, skip travel. Good stuff. Hey, Roald. Something matter? Oh, no. Uh, it's nothing. I don't want it to distract you from the big mission. Maybe it'll help us both in the end. Come on, tell us what's wrong. <laughs> Nosy as ever, I see. Thanks, though. We you know about that urgent mission issue this morning, I suppose. It came up so suddenly. We didn't have time to ready all the resources for the plan. I mean, we literally just finished fighting against Colony Sigma. Pretty frustrating, yeah. We could pick up this stuff easy, easy enough, but there's not enough hands to go around, so I'm not sure I can make up the shortfall. That's all there is to it, I'd be happy to help. It'll be, a, it'll be a quick job with more people, right? You would? Really? I'm in the for mission too, so we're going to need the supplies. Well then, thanks. It's a load off my mind. Sure thing. What do you need? Here's the rundown. Two radishes, three. Cluster, cluster rails, also three. Finally, two porches of rich uh, two portions of rich fish meat. Put a ref uh, I put the request up on the Collectopedia card. Would you mind double checking that when you can see it? Collectopedia card. Got it. Of course there is a Collectopedia. Why wouldn't there be? 
from the quest uh, from quest in the main menu, go to the Collectopedia card tab to check what someone needs. Helping them out will deepen your field, and your affinity, and give you rewards. My goodness, I cannot talk today. Oh, um, making us do it. Not really a fan of that. Uh, so, go over to Wikipedia. Okay. The three chewy radishes, three cluster L's, two rich fish meat. Gotcha. Right, got it memorized. Sorry for the hassle, and thank you. Fish meat comes from the pir uh, piranaxes, swimming around the colony entrance. As for the chewy radishes and clusterelles, I think I remember picking them up around and picking them around there as well. And it's all in the colony area then. Great. At least we won't have to go far. And with this on the case, we'll get this done well quick. I appreciate it. Once we collect all the items, we'll just put them all we'll just put them up on the Collectopedia card, yeah? Exactly. Once you register them there, come talk to me again. I'll be here checking the package packaging the goods. Alright, will do. And yeah, we've already seen many collectibles on our way here. What do you have to say? So we're in our ninth turn. And we learned earlier that we have 10 terms of life. Which means that if we can survive that last year, we get to uh, go off to homecoming and uh, to die anyway. Zeon. I feel like there has been a Colony 9 in at least two of the uh, Xenoblade games, including this one. Maybe three? Don't think the Cross had a Colony 9. Okay, so we're looking for Piranaxes. There's one over there. Gonna have to watch out for that big boy in the back though. Here we go guys. Right on. Make spot. Right on. Come here! I got something for you! Thanks! I get it behind this guy, but um, I don't want to aggro the big one. Here we go, guys! Right on! Make sparks fly, no? Come here! I got something for you! Thanks! Break! This stuff. Okay. So we have the fish meat. So now we need get up there. There we go. 
That'd be a lot of figuring out what I can climb to. Blue chain. What is blue chain actually? I'm guessing those weren't the Piranaxes I was supposed to kill. And I was supposed to go over to where these quest markers are. I am a doofus. Milky soy. Oh, oh this chain. Is Rugged bell. Dang it, get up there. But I do appreciate the game actually telling you when an item only exists to be sold. Because I have like a tendency to just Hold on to everything because. Oh. Colony Nine. Noah, will you do the honors? I have a tendency to just kind of hold on to everything because I don't know what is going to end up being important. Those chewy radishes and cluster ales should be growing nearby, I reckon. Then let's snap them up. Death mushroom. That's nice that it actually like straight up tells you like these are the things that you're looking for. And so now I gotta register the collectibles in the collectopedia. So it doesn't automatically consume items. And it's going to force me this time, because this game seems to really want to do that. But, um... Like it doesn't automatically consume the items. Materials we gathered on Rold's Collectopedia card. Let's tell Rold the good news. Spock, found us. Up hey, we got the initiative. Yeah. Enemy broken away from me. Yeah. 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 I can just do... can't skip travel here. Why not? I guess because the game hasn't told me about skip travel yet. That is kind of lame if that's the case.
Either that or there or there's a cutscene incoming. Yeah, that's also possible. Bump up the rank to Iron. Steel, then silver, and then gold. So what are we now? Copper? We got all the things you asked for. Yeah, I saw the notification. Thanks a lot. That should be us, though. I can arrange the, the, necessary, the necessary supplies now. You can? Great. I'm glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to repay you after the big honor. Be sure to come back alive, eh? Of course we will. Never used them before, but those collectopedia cards share some nifty. Oh, duh. They let, they let you know what your fellow soldiers need so everyone can ship in. Give me an example. I'm always on the lookout for, for fortune clothes, right? But they're right paint spot. But if I pop a request on my card, someone else might see it and send me one if they find it. That's a rough idea. So let me get this right. We've got this wicked system at our fingertips, and you're using it to dig up weeds. It's so dumb. You dare? More soldiers here. You never know if you'll, if you'll still be here tomorrow. Still. It's nice, it's nice feeling with someone you've met remembers you, thinks about your needs. Yeah, it's a good system. Whoever made it had the right idea. Bet you've been checking up. I bet you've been checking up on your colony nine buddies every now and again through your iris, eh? Absolutely. Let me just be sure to check up on me as well. All right? I get a daily ritual. <laughs> Way ahead of you, Mother. Would recommend to make tracks for a assembly point right about now. Shit, you're right. We're assembling by the front, they're calling the colony front gate, right? Let's go as soon as you're ready to, as soon as you're ready to decamp. All right. You can set up a character's arts by going into character's arts in the menu. Oh, you're not gonna force me to do it. I'm still... Oh yes, you are gonna force me to do it. Uh, this is annoying. Why do you do this game? Okay, so first we need to select the existing art. Then set up the select an art to add to the sub. Slot. Air Once you've set air slash, you can leave him in. We can't trust you to do the things we told you you should do. Oh, we should review our arts and skills every now and again. Now, amiibo. Hmm. Up to three amiibo can be scanned per day. I'm wondering if this is the sort of game where I specifically need Xenoblade amiibo, or if I can use any amiibo and it's gonna give me something. Just that the Xenoblade ones are gonna give me something better. Let's give it a try with my Kirby amiibo right now.
Oh yeah, it did give me a couple of things. I was just gonna spew out in front of me here. That's the only amiibo that I have, so... Unfortunately, we're not going to get too, um... It's great how we're having this conversation in the middle of another conversation. Three ticks. Ah, ticks of the flame clock. Gotcha. Which hopefully, but I think I've seen. I think I'm seeing that flame clock going down. Actually. I don't know if it goes down specifically for story beats or if it goes down all the time. Um, the Levenesses appear to be vehicles. It looks like Noah's our only offseer. So this is probably a significant story point. Anyway. It's good to keep a record. It is. So, I think I am going to go ahead and take this opportunity to go on break. Because, for one thing, I'm out of water. For another thing, it's been nearly two hours. But with all the talking that came before and all that. So, uh, y'all take a moment, get some water, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. In about 10-15 minutes, we shall resume our quest and um, go take on this, this mission by royal decree. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>